Happy Friday guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today we're going to be doing a little bit of skincare. Um, <clears throat> some of these products um, I have been using and you know tried and tested and some of them are new. So it's a bit of a haul um, but it is also you know things that I have used and can recommend. Uh, I've got a funny ear today. Uh, got a funny leg too <laughs> you know where you feel as if you've been swimming it's like that um so i bought some products from beauty bay i either go beauty bay or look fantastic uh, especially for my ordinary products and i have got ordin the ordinary products um but um i'm gonna start what i'm gonna start with are things that i am using um and have been using and that I can highly recommend. So for a start, we've got this. Now, <clears throat> I've ripped the label off because, you know, in all my wisdom to get this this out, um, this is what happened. I wrecked the packet. So these are um, silicone scrubbers for your face. <clears throat> I'll see if I can take this out and show you. I love these. Um, my daughter has a Ferreo, if that's how you say it, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm a little bit throaty, aren't I? Uh, a Ferreo. It's a little electronic device. Uh, I've, t I've told you about this before. She sets it to her phone and her phone programs it or whatever. And then she cleanses her face with it. Um, <coughs> I'm worried about... Oh, <clears throat> sorry about that. I'm worried about the electric current um, with my defibrillator in my chest. So I saw these at TK Maxx, three ninety nine for a pack of two. I've got a pink one that I'm using upstairs in the bathroom. And I have got this one that I've just taken out the packet to show you. And this is what they're like. Little, they've got a little, uh, now I wondered, I thought, oh, is it like one of those things for your phone? Actually, it does come in handy for that, but when you have used it and you've washed it and you put it onto the tiles, it's like a suction. So it just stays there and dries that way up, which is great. Um, so it's like a little silicon pad. I think this is for your uh, nose area, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. And, you know, these, it's ever so soft. Um, so I, I, all I do is hot cloth cleanser uh, that I've got from Aldi that I hold um, in my one of my hauls it might have been a skincare haul uh, and I had a multi-pack of different I was going to say flavours different uh, I'm using rose at the moment um, and you know you just glide over in a circ in circular motions now I love these um they picking up grime as they go um you know the days the days grime and um they're stim they're stimulating your your skin you're giving yourself a little massage a facial massage really with it but they're fabulous i can't get that back in there so i'll just leave it um they're fabulous i absolutely love them i've been using mine since i had it and i absolutely love it guys um so in the bathroom, I'm already refreshed. So what I do is a hot cloth cleanser and then I go around, don't scrub it. You know, they they are scrubbers, but you don't scrub it. You just glide it over in circular motions. You're giving yourself a massage. You're getting some oxygenated blood to your skin, which is great. Um, and, and then after I've done that, I rinse it off, put it on the tiles, like I say, uh, face up to dry off. And um, and then I go in with my flannel and, you know, take off, but I still take off twice. Um, but they are absolutely lovely. You get a right nice little glow after you've had a, a good wash. So they are really good. I can recommend those. They were three ninety nine. You can pick them up online. I've 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 seen them. So they were three ninety nine for a pack of two from uh, I think they were Home Sense. Uh, fabulous. And then 
I had a company called Teamy. Uh, ask me would I like to um, have some of their skincare and I thought oh yeah you know I, I love it and it's all natural products and I thought oh yeah I love some, uh, you know I love my skincare so Teamy, T-E-A-M-I um, they sent me a facial roller which I'd already bought myself um, but wonky glasses uh, that I'd already bought myself anyway, so now I'm using two on my face. That's not being greedy, that's getting each side of the face as I go. Um, I love those, absolutely love them. Um, and I chose an overnight sleep mask, and I have been using this for... I think tonight will be my ninth night, guys. And <clears throat> I absolutely love it. So... Um, they're natural, they're vegan, they're non-GMO, they're certified cruelty free. Um, so there's no alcohol, no parabens, no synthetic dyes, artificial fragrance or harmful chemicals. Overnight sleep mask I've been using and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it and I'll tell you why. Because I'm quite lazy at night time, I must admit. Not every night. But you know, there is times where I think, oh, can I be bothered? Because you know, I do maybe a 15 minute routine on my face um morning and night and sometimes I think to myself can I be bothered with all these layers you know because I put layers on my face I've told you that before and um this I've used it I've used it with serums so put my serums on and then I've put this over the top but I've also used it as a, sta a standalone product and I <clears throat> I've absolutely loved it either way with serums or as a standalone product and in there there's niacinamide hyaluronic acid and butterfly tea so tea me it's in the name they do a lot of natural products with tea um, they do tea bags they do um skincare and i really really am enjoying using this each night and when i put my skincare on I then do my roller or rollers. Uh, I do my roller and what I'm finding is with these, um, they really help your, um, your skincare to absorb into your skin, uh, you know, as you're rollering. But not only that, with these, um, I've noticed that there's less puffiness in my face because I believe if you go out you they're really good for the lymphatic drainage system um if you go outwards you know that's the that's the effect you're going to get you know the, the the drainage um and so i go out and i go up and up the forehead um up the cheekbones i go across uh, my lips these marionettes are they called these are a bit of a nightmare so are completely now you don't have to press hard don't be pressing hard guys i'm fa in fact i'm sure one of my um subscribers told me and if it was you and you're watching do do let me know because it did it did make me giggle actually that she'd bought one or a daughter had bought one and she pressed so hard she gave herself a black eye <laughs> so don't press hard guys um so yeah i really like this and this cream, well, you can see I've been using it over a period of nights. You don't need a lot of it. Um, in here, I've noticed there's some kind of glycerin. Now, when I worked, it smells beautiful of rose. And that's the that's the nice glossy texture of it, uh, but still feels like cream. When I worked in the florist, uh, you know, we, we constantly, oh, I've got it on my... Oh, I'll rub that on my hand and show you. Um, it, it is, it's absolutely lovely stuff. Um, actually, this company have also given me a discount code, so I will pop those down below in the, in the description box. But it is nice and dewy, absolutely lovely. When I worked in the florist, we used to have glycerin hand cream because I, I, I used to get something called florist finger and I also... <clears throat> hands were constantly wet and especially in the cold weather you know they got chapped and stuff um <clears throat> and the glycerin 
I'm just going to get a, a little drink. The glycerin in the hand cream really did work. And I think there's a little bit of glycerin in this. And um, I think it's it's fabulous. So like I say, this hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, which is brilliant. Uh, the hy hyaluronic acid attracts moisture. So that's fabulous. You're giving your skin moisture overnight, which we do lose moisture overnight. Um, and green, uh, not green tea, sorry, butterfly tea, which is lovely. So all the rest of these products are products that I've bought myself. Actually, I'm telling a little fib. My daughter picked me this up. I was having a gripe and a groan that I'd got no eye. Uh, well, I was coming to the end of my eye cream. And that's the most important thing for me, I think. I mean, I couldn't cope without my skincare. But I really do love my eye cream. Um, so she picked me up this, uh, number seven. Um, now, I thought to myself, mm, I wouldn't have chosen this one. But I'm not being ungrateful. Uh, it's hyd hydroluminous eye hydrator. Skin around the eyes feels instantly moisturised. Visibly awakens tired looking eyes. Suitable for sen sensitive skin. It's got hyaluronic acid. Um, best results. Use morning and evening. Uh, gently dot around the eye into the contours. Um, and again, it's got this has got glycerin in it as well. Now, I wouldn't normally use a gel, guys. Or if I used a gel, I would then go over with a cream, which I am doing because I've still got a little bit of my cream left. So this is this is that. And I, you know, I like it. I didn't think I would, but I do. So that's a Boots number seven. And I think she, she said it was about £15. Um, and in there you get 12 mils or 0.4 fluid ounces. Oh, uh, in this one, by the way, guys, you get, you know, in the teeny one, you get 60 mils or two ounces, which is quite good. It's quite, quite a fair size pot back. And it's going to last me a while. It's, like I say, it's my ninth, my, my ninth night. Um, so I'm using that at the moment. I always swap and change my, my eye cream, guys. I'm always looking for the next best thing because, you know, it's the most delicate area. I'm also using my Christian, Christian Brayton uh, SPF 30 that I got in my last TK Maxx haul. Um, if you remember that. So I'm, you know, I'm using that and then I'm putting the Christian on the top um, to protect my eyes from that non-existent sun. <laughs> um, there's my other roller. That's what I got from TK Maxx. I absolutely love these guys. I really do. Um, and it's my ninth, my ninth night using those as well. Now, I don't know what to show you next. I think I'll, what, I, what I will show you is stuff that I already know. It's not going to be a massive video, long, uh, long video this, guys, because I, ha I didn't really, you know, you know, from my last skincare haul, I didn't need loads, but I did need a few bits. And the great thing about the ordinary products is they last for such a long time, even though, you know, you've only got 30 mil in a bottle. So I'm going to go with the things that I know, um, and that's my retinol. I was out of retinol and I needed it. So this is a nighttime routine for me, guys. Um, retinol, 1% in squalane, um, and it's a uh, water-free solution, pure retinol, 1% pure retinol, highly stable. So I use this. There is a... Um, there is a quite a, if you go onto the ordinary website and you would need to if you if you want to build up a regime or you want to buy any of these products i would recommend that you go onto the ordinary website and that you look to see what goes with what because there's certain products that you can't use with with other products um so you do you do have to be careful um, and and i am you know I, but i'm interested in skincare anyway so i like to read about it um, so I use my retinol and I use my retinol after I have used my hyaluronic acid and my the buffet. Um, I then use my retinol and then I will use whatever cream it is that I'm putting on my face, you know, moisturiser. It could be the ordinary. For now, it's this. Um, 
overnight sleep mask. Um, and like I say, you know, I do put layers on it. I put layers on in the day. It takes me about 15 minutes, but that's my time. You know, that is my, that's my, I don't know, that's my cigarette. That's my pint. That's, you know, I just enjoy doing my skincare. And also, guys, you know, I do feel as if I've, some days, as if I have been in the salon, you know. Especially now I'm using my rollers and my you know, my little silicon scrub. Um, so, so yeah, retinol, really good product this. Um, there's, there's a few, a few of them. Um, there's one that I want to try and I will try next and it's, I want to call it, I want to call it granite, grenadine, it's definitely none of those, so take no notice of me. Um, but that's the next one I want to try after I've, after I've used this, but I can vouch for this. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, brown bottle. Sometimes they're brown bottles, sometimes they're white. It is really, really nice. So I'll put a little dot on little dot on my hand you don't need loads and that's the beauty about um and that's just feeding your skin all night while you're sleeping you know and if you you know if you have a nice little routine um and regime you know i think it's wonderful i get in bed i feel like a princess sometimes <laughs> Is that going too far, guys? Is that going too far? No, but I do, because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I d obviously want a glow. That's why I'm doing it. But I am kind of, this is my little addiction, skincare. And also just that feeling, um, you know, just that feeling, really. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend that. And like I say, it'll last you. It will last you for quite quite some time because um even though there's only 30 mil for quite some time because they they go a long way the next one that i do know is this peeling solution although i haven't used the peeling solution if you remember when i did my skincare haul one of the skincare hauls i had a lactic acid and I said, oh, I was looking for something else and I've got the wrong thing. Um, well, this was the thing that I wanted because I'd ordered this off eBay and lo and behold, it was a fake. It didn't matter because I got the product and they sent me my money back anyway. However, it was fake, so I threw it away uh, because it, there's no way I was putting something on my face that wasn't, you know, that wasn't certified. Um, this... It's red. Now, I've never used it, but I've heard great things about it and it does peel your face. It's not a peel that you put on your skin and it peels off. It literally peels your skin. So you put it on and um, for 10 minutes, you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you take it off. Um, and it does, you know, take a nice, it's an exfoliant, a chemical exfoliant so the ordinary can you see that i'm not sure that you can um so you in here you in the ingredients in this the active ingredients are glycolic acid you've got water aloe barabedinus right barab no barb do you know what? I'm, not, I'm going to give it up. Barbadanus leaf water, sodium hydroxide. You've got all sorts in there. Salicylic acid, lactic acid. So, for instance, when I was talking to you, you don't use some products with other products. You have to check. Um, but the, it's, a, the, it's a fabulous website. So you have to check. Um, 
on the ordinary website and they will tell you do not use this acid with another acid so the i have lactic acid um and now i've got this acid and i will not be using them you do not use them both together um and you need a good spf on when you're going out in the sun you would use this at night time preferably at night time uh, and like I say, it's a 10 minute job this and then you take it off. I'm not entirely sure about, I can't remember about the lactic acid. I think you might be, might, I think you might leave that on. I might be wrong. If I am, please correct me. Um, but you take this off. However, you know, you've taken a layer from your skin. So you really do need um, to wear your SPF when you go out. Uh, the good thing about this, which I think is... Um, you know you when you then moisturize i think it's a two to three times a week maybe two clean face and wait for skin to dry do not use on wet skin apply evenly across the face and neck using fingertips avoiding the eye area leave on for no more no more than 10 minutes Rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Do not use on sensitive peeling or compromised skin. Avoid the eye contour or contact with eyes. Um, yeah, it says this low viscos viscosity solution is intended to be used as a mask. Do not leave on for longer than 10 minutes. So they're giving you a warning there and it's underlined. It is not recommended to use more than twice per week. So it's twice a week, guys. Don't use it any more than that. Because the, uh, these products are fantastic. They really are. Um, and if they say they're going to do something, they do it. Yeah, so you wouldn't use on um, on um, broken skin or anything like that. Of course you wouldn't. And, um, you know, you do need a good, because it says sunburn alert, you know, because you've taken, you've taken that layer off your skin. The reason I want it literally is to take a layer off my skin <laughs> is because I always think to myself, well, I'm, I'm applying these creams and stuff, you know, and I do have a little exfoliator and I exfoliate with other products. Um, I haven't used those other products, by the way, with these, because there's no need for that's just silly. There's no need for two. Um, you know, so I do exfoliate and stuff. But then you wonder to yourself, well, how much um, is that skincare that you then putting on getting sunken into your skin? And I've already said that the rollers are helping my skin drink the uh, my moisturisers and stuff. But um, these, I, I thought to myself, well. And hopefully it might eradicate some. I, I hate these guys. really hate them. I wouldn't mind. They're not even even. <laughs> They're not even even. Are they? Even even. So that's that one. So I haven't used it. I am going to use it. But I'm not going to use it yet. So, But I've got it. Um, as well as my lactic acid. But don't use the two together. Because um, you'll end up with no skin on your face, guys. Um, this next one, I've not used this either because this is the one that's being dubbed as Botox in a bottle. Now I've done a little bit of research on it. And again, you need to check with this. This is okay with your water-based products um, and it's okay with your moisturisers. But you do need to check on on the um, ordinary website um, whether you can use it with certain products. So, it, you know, I know in my own tailored regime that i'll be fine you need to check for your own tailored regime so um and these are all inexpensive products guys and i will <clears throat> um i will try and link them below because right now i was very silly came to the table and i can't go back because we're 24 minutes in and i've not fetched the prices and they're not on the they're not on the um, on the list. So yeah, I either go Beauty Bay or I go um, look fantastic because they both stock. Um, and sometimes one has one thing that I'm after, and sometimes one has the other. So, uh, but th these are from Beauty Bay. Apart from the Teamy, which is from Teamy, their website. 
Um, this stuff, guys, I need to put my glasses on. It's a Argeline, Argeline, or Argeline product. Uh, Ten percent solution targets appearance of dynamic facial lines. Which what they mean is these, these, maybe these, and these. So it's not an all over the face job, and apparently it does freeze you know, like Botox, your muscle underneath. Now, I watched a fella last night because I thought, you know, I'll have a quick look of, because I had already come across it myself and I'd already got it, it was here. But I thought, I'll have a little look. And I watched a fella last night on YouTube and he said he used it for 30 days and you could t definitely tell the difference within those 30 days. It built up over a period of 30 days but after those 30 days, you didn't get anything else. But he said it was fantastic. So he also said that if you use it um, and then you don't use it, it will stop working. So basically, if you don't put the product on your face, I think this was about £7, something like that. If you don't put the product on your face, um, you know, he said within two weeks, it, it everything goes back to normal. So basically, I am. I really can't wait to get started with this. I haven't. I haven't. Um, I haven't even opened it, guys, because I wanted to share it with you first. All their products. There's no. There's no scent to them. They're cru they're cruelty free. Uh, they're vegan. Uh, all all the ordinary products. Now this looks quite runny, actually, guys compared to your hyaluronic acid and let's give it a try so there it is on my hand yeah it, it is it's quite runny that and one drop is going quite far so um i don't know where i was up to then oh and you need to do a patch test in fact you should do a patch test with all of them guys just do a patch test on your upper arm here um, and preferably for 24 hours. Uh, maybe not with the peel though. Leave it on for 10 minutes and take it off. Um, you know, and if you have an, a reaction to it, then don't use it. <clears throat> so this, uh, like I say, very runny. So I've only used one drop and it's gone all over. So I think it's going to be a drop each for these. I wonder whether I could target. Oh, I've got fine, line, fine lines on my lips. Well, actually, they're not fine, are they? <laughs> uh, I've definitely got these. You know, and you haven't got any discomfort in, in what you're doing, providing you've done your patch test and you're not going to come out, uh, you know, you, you've you got to do that patch test. Uh, and I'm going to give this a go, guys, and you, you, you're going to watch me because I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to do a little journey of it. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my thing today um and i'm really excited about this one i really am especially for these i can't they really are the bane of my life not really the bane of my life i just i'm just not happy with them because they're lopsided <laughs> and now I pointed that out you'll never no, you'll never not see it um you probably saw it anyway didn't you so yeah that fantastic and i think that like i say i think that was about seven pounds a bottle if that this again between five and seven pounds a bottle and the retinol is five something a bottle and it's it's just fab stuff and i do like to mix my you know i do have my i am loyal to the ordinary because they're they've got fantastic products but i do like to mix things up you know i've never found a decent eye they have a caffeine solution for your eyes, the ordinary do, but I was never happy with it, I must admit. You know, that's one product out of many, many, many products that I just couldn't take to. It didn't do anything for me, guys. Um, you know, so I do, I do uh, go to various different sources for my eye stuff. And this is what I'm using at the moment, which is number seven. And then I've got this lovely, 
I can't complain about this, guys. This lovely teeny overnight uh, sleep mask. Absolutely love it. So, you know, I do mix things up and stuff. Um, and you know that, you know, I'm, I am not, not using the ordinary moisturiser at the moment. I'm using Your Good Skin with the SPF 30. Again, we've got no sun, but that doesn't make any difference. It gives me a nice glow and I like it. Um, now, last but not least, I have picked up these. I think I'm going to do this on camera for the first time. I mean, I wonder whether it's because I've, I've watched some videos of dermaplaning, guys. Now, my daughter, um, she's a level two beauty therapist. She came away just before, just as she started a level three. Very silly, but, you know, she, her happiness mattered most to me. So she's, that's, you know, and she's happy now. So she's, she stopped after that, but she's level two qualified. And she kept saying to me, mum, you know, you need to, you need to get these, you, you need to get these and you need to, to um, dermaplane. And I was like, don't be so ridiculous. I said, no, I'm not doing it. So that, well, I'm not doing that so that I get a beard, a moustache, you know, a hairy forehead. I'm not doing it. So I, you know, for two years I've I've been in denial. However, recently, and it is recently, I would say the past six to eight months, I've noticed I have got so much peach fuzz, more on this side than this side so much peach fuzz it is ridiculous guys and i don't know whether you can see that but when i'm in the mirror in my bedroom i can really see it and initially i was in denial thought no no it's all right it, you know it'll flatten down with my face cream <laughs> and um anyway it didn't and there it is i've got peach fuzz you know quite a fair amount of it and i've got no hairs i've got no stray hairs or anything however i thought to myself it might have to go this so i bought myself a pack of these now these were seven pounds uh, from beauty bay um and i watched a couple of ma mature ladies um doing dermaplaning on YouTube um, and I thought to myself well I don't know why I don't bite the bullet and and ha have a go myself it was explained that you know if you go down and not against the grain if you go against the grain and you come up you know you're blunting those hairs and that's why it feels as if they're growing back um, coarse but they're not if you go down you know um, and apparently uh, it helps your your absorption of your your you know you're spending that money on your on your products it helps with the absorption um because there's no hairs getting in the way uh it's taking off dead skin cells so like uh, another exfoliant perhaps or i don't know it's not harsh and you know you're getting rid of that peach fuzz and i have seen some great results because then of course if you watch one video it leads you to other videos doesn't it and i thought you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna bite the bullet and i'm gonna do it because there's no denying that i i need to do something here you know this side i'm not so fussed i mean it's there <laughs> it's definitely there <laughs> this side is is worse you know so i'm lopsided not just here but i'm lopsided even with my peach fuzz so I thought to myself, well, I'm going to get them. So these were, and I, I wanted, and I, I messaged my daughter and I said, which one would you recommend? And she sent me a photograph and um, I found them on Beauty Bay and they were £7, but there's 12 in there. Because I'm not just going to go willy-nilly. I'd looked on eBay and I thought, no, you get three for a quid. And I thought, oh no, best not. So this is what they are, if you haven't seen them before. You, pro you probably have I i'm always late to the party i really am uh so i'm maybe showing you something that you already know about you already do and it, it, if that's the case then i apologize but this is new to me uh so little blades they're kind of serrated them guys hang on i'll put my glasses on my wonky glasses yeah kind of serrated and 
I'm not going to do I'm not going to do it, but I think I might do it on camera, you know, and uh, show you the results. Because by all intents and purposes, they're, they're great. You know, dermaplaning is fabulous. So, uh, you know, I'm an older lady. Um, I'm 51. I've got a fair amount of peach fuzz. I think, if anything, it, you know, even if you get nothing out of it, it might be a bit of satisfaction of, a, you know, either a before and after or all that fuzz coming off for the first time. So for the first time, guys, I think I might do it on camera. If I can, I will try and film it and bring it to you but that comes to the end of my little skincare haul um you know like i say this was gifted um thank you teamy for allowing me to try that i think it's great uh, i will put those discount codes down below in the description box these i bought with my own money i absolutely love the ordinary um and you can use them alongside other products, which that's what I really like. And that's why it takes me 15 minutes, guys, each session. You know, I'm doing my scrubby and my um, exfoliant and uh, hot cloth cleanser, you know. And then I'm doing my hyaluronic acid and my the buffet. Um, that buffet is really good. Uh, then I'm using my retinol if it's night time, you know. Uh, I also have another serum upstairs uh, that I got from Aldi's. You see, I, you just keep your eyes out for various different things and just just look um, and see what, what you think would suit your skin. You know your own face. Um, boots number seven, you know, my daughter picked that up for me, which was very kind of her. And even though I wouldn't have chosen a gel myself, I really quite like it. And these rollers, fab, love them. Uh, ninth night, ninth day today it is, and I'm using them morning and night each after each. After, oh, I can't speak now. After each application of my many layers, <laughs> I'm using these, and just gently, you know, don't dig in. Just gently. They're so nice, and the, these are so cold. And for even better results, put them in the fridge. Go up the neck. Because you would. And then along the jaw. Honestly, guys. I love these. This came in a really nice little. Nice little box. I was really quite happy with that. And it's called the Heartstone. And I do think it is called the Heartstone of Rose Quartz. So that's it, guys. I've still got that funny swimmers, swimmers here. I don't know why. Um, and I've got that husky little throat. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to bring this to you if, if any of you are interested. Um, if I can do it. Because I'm only, I only use my phone to film. I haven't got a camera. You know, so if I can get closer up enough to to film it for you i will do because i think that's going to be quite interesting um and thank you so much for watching and thanks so much for your lovely friendship you know i think that's what we're becoming now aren't we firm friends and i absolutely love it i really do um have a lovely weekend guys and uh i've got i'm ever so deaf it's driving me bonkers have a lovely weekend and i don't i haven't got anything planned i'll be honest which is quite nice the only thing i have got planned do you know something guys um i haven't had a takeaway chinese for about two weeks well this is the third week and I thought to myself, hmm, last Saturday I really fancied some Chinese flavours. And I said to Carl, my partner, I said, do you fancy a Chinese? No, I didn't say, do you fancy a Chinese? Because I'd already had my tea, we'd had um, chicken fajitas. And I thought to myself, 
yeah, I could just eat some Chinese flavours. So I thought, just picky bits, you know, ribs and stuff. So I said, do you fancy something to eat? No. I was like, why? He was like, because I'm not hungry. So I was like, oh, right. I thought, oh, well, there's no point me getting bits and pieces because obviously I'm not that hungry because I've had my tea. So I said, right, okay then. Next minute, he's gone out, he's come back in, he's got peanuts. Thought, right, okay. He gets up, goes out, comes back, he's got crisps. <laughs> I was fuming. <laughs> I was furious. I went, you're eating those. I said, and we could have had a Chinese, <laughs> we could have had Chinese picky bits. And um, he went, yeah, well, I'm not hungry now. I thought, no. Anyway, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to have something. So I made a sausage sandwich. <laughs> and then I said to him, and I just know, because there was, they were chipolata sausages, so there was plenty left. I'd made this little sausage sandwich. And um, I said, and I, honey and pork, they were lovely from Aldi's. Um, and I thought, I just know he's going to... Um, He's gonna, he's gonna go in there. He's gonna have one of those sausages, you know. And it, it's adding to my frustration of wanting a Chinese, the Chinese flavors. So I said, "I bet you any money you got." He went, "How do you know?" <laughs> I said, "Cause I can just tell." And with that, he rolled off the settee. Yeah, rolled, and he really did roll as well. Um, rolled off the settee, walked into the kitchen, and I went in behind him, and there he was eating a sausage, and I thought, blow, I could have had those Chinese flavours, you know, I should have just put my foot down a little bit firmer. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing tonight, guys. I'm having a Chinese. What are you what do you do on a Friday night? And do you have a takeaway or do you go to the pub or what do you do on a Friday night? It's been a long time since I've been to the pub. I had to ask my son the other week. Uh, last week my son went out. And I said to him, how much is a pint these days, Kofi? That's his name. Whoops. I said, how much is a pint these days? And um, he said, God, throw myself there. He said, oh, um, a four pound, it was four pound odd for a pint of cider. Uh, so he's a bit like his dad skin flint and he said it was too expensive so he went on to the lager which was three pound odd and even then I thought gosh that's that's uh you know it's quite expensive isn't it I remember when you could go out with 20 quid all weekend Friday night Saturday night and Sunday lunch um so yeah so that's what I'm doing tonight I hope you all have a lovely Friday evening I hope you all have a lovely weekend uh excuse that little blip there you know I haven't asked his permission otherwise I would say his name it I haven't asked his permission and he is quite a closed book, my son. So so thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, I hope you got something out of that. Um, if you were interested, you know, I absolutely love my skincare, as you know. Um, like I say, that's my cigarette, pint of beer, you know, cinema trip, whatever. It's it, that is my. My thing. Um. And I'm not sat here saying I've got the best skin in the world because I know I haven't. I'm 51 um, and I have led a fairly colourful life. Um, but I do love my skincare, whether, whether or not. So take care. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you on Tuesday. I'm, I think I'm going to be doing Tuesdays and Fridays um, from now on, guys. Because, um, you know, after Monday, uh, on a Monday, I like to... Um, catch up on stuff so so yeah so i'll see you tuesday um and i think i'm going to come back with just a small uh clothing haul um kind of every day but summer bits okay take care bye